How you doing? I'm Marco from Groomers Pro. This is our new latest catalog that just launched. Uh, I wanted to go over with you guys briefly here about the Chris Christensen dryers. We have the Cool Dry family over here, the Extreme family over here, and the newly released Mighty Mouse as well. And uh, just kind of give you a brief overview of uh, these two uh, families over here and, and the Mighty Mouse as well. So the, the casing on the uh, Cool Dry is plastic. It uh, reduces sound and it's all encompassing and there's no seams or anything. And um, it's pretty durable, really nice. Um, the Extreme comes with a powder coated um, outside. They both have really strong handles uh, that are leather. And um, so that's, that's uh, the outside. They all come with variable speed. Um, both the Cool Dry and the Extreme, you can see the variable speed right here that clicks on and off. This is nice to control the speed. If you're doing a timid dog, you can really lower it and then you can raise it as you need it. The uh, Mighty Mouse only comes with two speeds, okay? So the biggest difference between the two is heating. So Cool Dry runs cool um, and there's no heating uh, after running it for a while. It does maybe a little bit, but not as much as the Extreme. The Extreme, you're gonna have a lot more heat come out of the uh, dryer. And um, after running it for a while, there's no heating element in it. It's just heating the dryer that's running. So these dryers run a little hotter, um, you know, in general. Um, another really important thing to consider is power, okay? The extremes have about 20% more power than the cool dry. And um, the two extreme being the strongest dryer they have, putting the most uh, CFMs of output. Um, so if you're, if you're thinking about getting the pup, the extreme is going to have about 20% more power than the pup and, uh, the cool dry, the extreme is going to have maybe like 30% more power than the cool dry. If you're looking for a bigger dryer, um, as far as that goes, uh, price wise, um, the cool, uh, pup is 270. Um, that's a, as of this video that may change. Um, the cool dry is 350. And um, the extreme, the smaller extreme, is 390, and the two extreme is 490. So uh, the Mighty Mouse is 195 uh, as well. And it all depends um, in choosing which one you want on what your uses are going to be. The smaller ones are nicer for your smaller breeds, of course. And if you're traveling a lot, you need to fit this in a suitcase. It's a nice size, it's lightweight, it's easy to haul around. The Extreme is big, it's bulky, it's going to be for your bigger dogs, your bigger breeds, it's going to require a lot of drying. Um, same with the Cool Dry. And um, my overall favorite between all these is definitely going to be the Cool Dry because it's really popular among my mobile groomers. It's just a good value for what you get and also the pup. Um, and one thing that really, really sets it apart from the Extreme is you can't, these, these dryers after running for a very long time, you need to replace their brushes. A lot of people don't know this, but on the extremes, you cannot replace the brushes. You need to replace the entire motor. So is that, that's definitely a downside with that, um, even though it does have a stronger motor. Um, these are easily replaceable. Uh, the, the, the brushes in there are easily replaceable after a few years of use and uh, very cost effective. As far as value goes, go with the uh, Cool Dry. It's one of my favorites. Um, we do have the Mighty Mouse here, which is kind of the, uh, sticking out. Um, this is great if um, you do house calls or you do one dog or you're a house groomer, you just do your puppy. Um, it's only $195. It, it's unrepairable. So if something goes wrong with it, you can't open it. Everything's sealed inside. So uh, that's definitely a downside, but it is a very um, good, powerful dryer for its size and weight. So that's really good. In the box, all these dryers come with a pointed nozzle and a flathead nozzle. I really like the flathead nozzle because you cover a lot more space when you're drying the dog as opposed to a point. But um, it all depends on what you're doing and what kind of grooming you're doing. The hose is a luxury. This is probably one of the best hoses that come with uh, any dryers I've seen in the market. Super durable, flexible. Um, it just clamps right into here and it's really easy to use um, as far as that goes. So that's kind of a brief overview. Hopefully that, that helped you with that. 
They also come with some accessories. They have matching bags with colors, and they also have the hold a hose. Hold a hose is great if you're in a mobile setting or you're at a show and you need an extra pair of hands. Think of this as your extra pair of hands, your third hand. It um, easily clips onto the uh, table like this, and you grab the hose and you put it right through here and you clamp it on. Very easy. Now what's nice is if you need to point at the dog, you can push down and point and be brushing and spraying and doing whatever you need to do while the dryer is drying. So, um, you know, I think these run around $85. Very, very worth the money um, and very easy to haul around and take and install. So, um, I'm Marco from Groomers Pro. That's it for today. Um, please leave me a comment or if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you. Bye.